the Lord for another opportunity to be here. And uh, this is Majesty Television Network here in Amsterdam. Father, we ask you to take control that everything we are going to say and do here, Lord, we be glorify your name in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Uh, this is uh, Pastor William Emeka. As usual, I'm here at uh, Majesty Television Network here in Amsterdam. I'm here to bring the Christmas greeting to you. Here with me is my lovely wife, Pastor Lona Emeka. I want her to bring a uh, heavenly greeting to you and your family. Praise the Lord. Um, I just want to thank you all for being watching Majesty Christian Television Network. We are very grateful. We are very thankful to God. We just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas that have just gone. And I know most of you have been very blessed. We want to wish you all the best for the new year. And we just want to thank you all our viewers that have been supporting us over the time. We just want to thank you so much. You are richly blessing us. And we pray that you will continue to do it. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are here celebrating Christmas. You know, some theologians have told us that Christmas is a paganic uh, celebration or an idol worship. Therefore, we Christians should not celebrate Christmas. I can tell you that those theologians, they are a wrong preacher. Even the angels in heaven celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Easter and one of Jewish uh, religions. So, this is godly ordained uh, program. It's not, uh, let me tell you the meaning of Christmas. Of course, if you ask everybody uh, what the meaning of Christmas, they said it's the time that Jesus was born. That is true. But it's more than that. Why do we celebrate the Christmas? We celebrate Christmas because of the arrival of our redemption. I told you from the beginning that uh, I have the privilege of being mentored by the Almighty God. From 2008, nothing I say on this television is from my human mentality. It's a confirmation from the Almighty God. I told you, I repeated, time without number, that I have been translated. That means to see the spiritual world, both Satan's side and God's side. I've told you time without number that I don't study the Bible. I read the Bible. What is the difference of studying and reading? You study to find out the truth. I read to reflect the, the truth. I've seen it a lot. The Lord is still teaching me. I have not read the end yet. Of course, I will continue to learn from God until I see him face to face. Uh, Christmas is a very good celebration. I want to encourage you, as many of you that have lost hope in life, uh, come to Jesus. Jesus is the one that carried the burdens of sin. The problem of man is sin. You know, make your choice. Make up a mindset that from now on, you are going to join millions of Christians celebrating this salvation, the arrival of salvation. You know what one of my, of my mentors told me? Angel, because before I grew up in a church where we don't celebrate Christmas, we, our pastor taught us, we are told that it's a paganic worship. They even use uh, books need to prove to us, and they have lived with that for many years until my mentor said, William, that is wrong. I say, what do you mean? In fact, it happened that the angel that lead a uh, uh, worship, when they saw the Jesus Christ, it happened to be a mentor. He said, listen, he began to teach me about the Bible. You know, what he, he told me that the reason why, the, one of the importance of celebrating Christmas is that he said before the death, uh, the birth and the uh, Arising of Jesus from the dead, say the angels could not have the opportunity and privilege they have now to come and minister to the saints. He said, before that time, when they were in heaven, they would see the devil, you know, punishing Christians. Said they were very angry. They called us my brethren, my brothers. He said, but when they caught him, 
tear up. He said there was a rush from heaven. You know from that that uh, Jesus rose from the dead, the church life have changed. So it's, uh, it's a time of enjoyment that we used to fast. We don't fast. say, look, celebrate. Don't pray, just worship the Almighty God. Eat and, cel and celebrate. This is what we have been doing now for almost seven years. But before that time, we used to go and lock up ourselves and fast and pray. Say, no, it's not wrong if you do that, but that is not the real meaning. It's to celebrate. From prison to prosperity. For you be bound and to be set free. Your chain is broken. This celebration is only meant for Christian, but not for unbeliever. And you can join because it is a free grief. So this is the message I have today for you. And that is spiritual. Now I want to give you another thing that is going to help you next year. Because if you look at the Church of Christ today, one of the biggest problems is health problem. Many Christians have been spending a lot of money for medical bills. But we who are here in Holland, because we have a fixed amount we pay for insurance, whether you use the doctor's uh, services or not, you does not feel it. But how about those in third world or a country where there's no uh, medical insurance? Uh, you can learn a lesson from this evening. You know, I, I talk about the rules of heavens. You know, that is the law of the spiritual. Today I'm talking about the Christian and the hospital. I want to reveal to you a thing that you does not know. This information is not to make you to be afraid. It's just to open your eyes. Because remember, we are celebrating the death and uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Because doctors, the hospitals, as you see them today, they are not the doctors anymore. It's a killing squad all over the world. I'm going to tell you this. Because you might be going to the hospital. Maybe your problem you are not suffering now from is a result of maybe one or two visits or several visits you visited in the hospital. You know, I want to make it here. Bible said, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29, that the secret thing belongs unto our God. And those things that are revealed are for us. You know, you, I cannot come here to say anything without the Lord allow me need to see it. Um, I told you that uh, I have be, I've been privileged to mentor by the Almighty God. What the Lord is doing is not new in our generation. If you read Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 and 2, God appeared in the form of a man when he appeared to Abraham and Sarah. Uh, if you read verse 1 and 2, you see the three of them. That is a holy trinity. And that is different from the angel. If you read another verse 19, uh, Genesis chapter 19, verse 1 and 2, you see angels in the form of man. They went to Lord in Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, just to, to show you that all these things have been preaching on this channel is not a mystery. It's not strange. The Lord has been doing it. Only that because of the rebelliousness of a man, that is why God slowed down. And the God well, is taking the church to another dimension. Now, if you read Georgie chapter 5, verse 20 and 23, you find out that we partner with angels in warfare. In our day December, you know, people are just traveling from one destination to another. Check the record. From 2009 up to now, find out if there are major air disaster and check before that backward. You will judge yourself. We have been busy, busy fighting spiritual battle. Look at, you go and read it by yourself. You find out that we, the human being, when we are fighting a war here on the ground, the angels are fighting. We are partners in battle. Like this year, we started with uh, Istanbul in Turkey. After that, we moved to New Orleans in America. From then to Detroit and then to America. All these are the countries that Satan wanted to cause a massive destruction. As we are here fighting, sometimes we go in spirit and we are fighting with the angels. Eh? So you, many people are just enjoying life, but there are people that are paying need the price. After that, now we move to the realm. We go and deal with a certain kingdom. And there are some talking now. The war is still on. It's still on. 
And so God is calling up people. Secret thing belongs unto our God. The Lord is calling you, Pastor, to rise up that next year is going to be a year of a massive spiritual warfare. I want to tell you, next year is going to be worse. I'm bringing the message. I'm going to reveal to you what is going to happen to next year. Because Satan is angry. I'm going to hold my peace until next week when I'm going to talk about that. Now, Matthew chapter 28, verse 20, the, the Lord Jesus said, go and teach. That's why I'm here. Teaching you what the Lord has shown me. All I'm telling you, you are going to witness them just a time. It's new, yes, but all is in the Bible. Now, let's now go to the hospital. Hospital is a killer squad. It's no more a hospital. Of course, God established a hospital to take care for our physical body. There are also a spiritual hospital, both in Satan's kingdom and God's kingdom. Now, do you understand why? Look at the symbol of medicine. If you look at the hospital logo, if you look at it closely, what do you see? Snake, stick, and basin. I have been asking myself before the Lord uh, took over my control, why is snake in hospital? Now, when the Lord now translated me, I was able to see things in reality. Now, snake represents Satan. The stick, you know what the stick does? Beat and destroy. The basin is to collect blood. In fact, the spiritual name in Satan's kingdom, hospital is known as blood bank. Blood bank. That is what... So, hospitals are no more. I'm going to take you deep into this topic. I'm going to continue. This is part one. I'm going to deal part two the next time. Because my eye have seen evil here in Holland. Now, uh, if you look at Revelation chapter 22 verse 2, uh, Bible talk about live for the healing of nation. That to show us that uh, even in our spiritual body, when we have uh, rapture need to, need to heaven, there are not a hospital, it's a, a, a place of rest. Uh, you know, also uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 29 and to 30, but Bible talk about herbs for the food and also can take that up for the healing. So that means there is a, a God uses a natural thing for our healing. Hospital in recess is good. Look at uh, Luke. Look what the doctor. Look at Martin. Uh, Ma Luke. Okay, look what the doctor. But nowadays, because Satan is God of this world, Satan now have now changed everything. And the God allow him to rule for a particular time. I have told you before why Satan is still existing. Because God made a covenant with him. All these things that Satan is doing, that is not part of of the of the deal you know satan be a satan he's a covenant breaker and god cannot break his own covenant left for the lord lord could have destroyed satan for a long time because there's a time appointed and god is not going to change his own world he pays god when you are suffering i is suffering when satan are causing a flood causing the earthquake, causing destruction. That is not the will of God. Because all those souls, God created them in His own image. And we are created to serve the Almighty God. God is a God of family. Now, that, let me tell you about hospital. Over 80% of medical personnel are workers of Satan in the hospital. Maybe more. Those who are working in the hospital, they, they may tell you more. I, have, I don't know the exact percentage. So I estimated 80%. I can assure you there are more. You know, I have an experience here in Holland. Hospital today is very, very dangerous. Satan is operating in the strategic places all over the world. What happened when you go to the hospital? You know, under the hospital, that's uh, the basement. Eh? In every hospital all over the world, 
a hospital that what they call a uh, character demon. These are uh, uh, demon in human being. They are medical doctors. You know when you are, it's dangerous for a Christian to go to hospital. But I am not making you to be afraid. I just want to make you to be aware so that when you are going to the hospital, you fully prepare. It's best it can, if you can build up your faith. It's best if you can hold on to the word of God, maintain holiness, so that God will always protect you, so that you will have a disease or sickness that will lead you into a hospital. But if you find yourself in the hospital, be aware. What happens when they take your blood? They say, okay, want to take your blood to go and uh, examine where there are bacteria or diseases. But under the basement, eh, in every hospital, there is an altar. Altar in every hospital. Except that hospital is built by a Christian and the foundation was laid by the blood of Jesus. You know, there are a lot of people who are having a bad experience with the doctors. It is worse with a Christian, especially if you are a holy Christian. Now, <coughs> excuse me, what's happened is, it happens to me. I saw this thing because we have an experience. When things happen in our own area, uh, there was a Christian that was sick. Uh, he fell down and something happened and uh, that Christian was taken to the hospital. We thought it's going to take about one or two hours. The problem is solved just to fix uh, some uh, minor fracture, but later it become a very big problem. I begin to ask the Lord why they give that person a lot of morphines, even higher doses, and nothing happened. And I went to ask the Lord, Lord, what happened? And the Lord said, I will tell you what you are going to do. The Lord opened my eyes and see that under the hospital there is a mighty altar. In this mighty altar, there is an altar of blood and the altar of flesh. And there's a high priest. And the another one, a, a, a presenter keeper. And you know, there's a blood bank that every, that altar, uh, let me tell you something. Now, every year, Satan allocates each country a amount of blood need to, to uh, supply. Blood is the anointing. Just as the Holy Spirit anoints us, the anointings come from blood. That is why these men and women in a satanic worship all called they love blood a lot. Because when they drink that blood, they are charged. And you know, me and you have a lot of uh, a role to play, need to plague these people. We have anointing to punish Satan mightily. Because Jesus said, Behold, I give unto you power. The church is still crawling at the basement of their anointing. The Lord is calling on need to move to a higher ground. My ministry, that what the God gave to me, is to support ministers. I'm not better than you. All anointing are the same. All ministers are the same, but our calling are different. So, I am not better than you. You, if you have a ministry of singing, bring it. Let us sing it together. If you have a message of uh, an evangelism, come up. I have, I know the Bible. So we have to work need together, need to defeat Satan. We are not to be afraid of witches and wizards. It pains me when I see Christians say, witches are troubling me. I say, you don't know. Come, I want to give you information. You can do it. If you get saved now, get saved now, you can destroy a kingdom of Satan 20 times bigger than this in Holland. Just, you are born again today. Bible says you have to know the truth. And the truth is going to set you free. Amen. Hospital, my brothers and sisters, is a satanic prison. What happens if you are a minister? You now go to the hospital, they now take your blood. And they go and keep it. You know, if you don't neutralize it, why they are taking it, Satan has access to your blood. And you know blood is life. You know the effect, you can't go beyond the level that Satan is going to put you. You want to rise as a Christian because Satan has a, have a access to you. And God hands are tied. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 and 2. The Bible said, the hand of the Lord is not sure that he cannot save. 
neither he hear, he deaf, he can he cannot hear your sin. Oh, this sin can be classified in, in many ways. When you give Satan rights, God knew you are you are suffering. He's a covenant keeping God, he cannot change his word. God will be watching. He will say, When can this man learn the lesson? And unless you now go and deliver yourself, this might be the reason why you are suffering. You know, you are going to the hospital to another hospital, going to a prophet to another prophet. Any minister of the gospel come, they say he has a lot of anointing. You are always there spending money. No, the blood of Jesus has set you free. Amen. So this is what the Lord is saying. Hospitals is no more a hospital. When do you want to go? Suppose you want to go, what will you do? When the when before you enter enter the please cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Pray. When they are putting injection into your into your into your vein, need to take blood, begin need to neutralize it mm. in your heart. Uh, you know, when I went to the hospital and the Lord showed me that altar, you know, when the Lord showed me, I know that the battle is won. I called my, uh, my battle commander. We said, there's a war. We begin to pray. In that, under the basement, there are six altars. And we begin to destroy it. Next week, I'm going to give you the weapon to fight each satanic kingdom. The one to use for the marine power is different. The one to use on the one on the on the ground. The one need to fight atmosphere pressure. They are different. If you don't know, you'll be using a general prayer. That is why you see that the church is stagnant. Satan is multiplying. You know, my ministry we punish Satan on daily basis. We know what he's doing. I have advanced knowledge about the spiritual things. Even right now, there's a war in the uh, in the realm. We are fighting. We are now fighting. We are now at the forefront, carrying the bullet of the enemy. And you can join. You can join. That's what the ministry is all about. If you want to move, if you want to move next year, this is a Christmas gift, the redemption. If you want to launch into next year as a giant of the Almighty. As a Christian with a lot of ego win, yes. you will not be crawling and say witches and wizards. I don't pray against them because they are one of the weakest army of uh, Satan. And coming next, we need to come and show you the kingdoms that are ruling this world. We have the power need to change government. We are don't you see Holland? Don't you see the wind that are blowing all over Europe? Do we have enough destruction here in Holland? No. Because we are there standing. I said, Satan, we are here. Wind, Passover, go to the At Atlantic. Yes. Because we are here. Mm -hmm. I will show you the kingdom and power that operate against wind. Yes. So that the Christian will not be here, you know, fighting one another. This pastor is angry with that pastor. This one is angry with that pastor. Pastor doesn't want to be corrected. We feel to be. And that's why God demoted many pastors. You have a name that live it, And Bible says you are dead. Do you know why? Because you don't humble yourself before the great God of heaven. Jesus. What do we do? I'm going to show you how to destroy this altar. As long as that altar is active, there will be more so going to the hospital. There will be more death. Oh, we are living in the... In the we, are, we are sitting on the time bomb. We are sitting on the time bomb. You know, my prayer, I say, Lord, let me not see all this is alone. Of course, there are many people that God has uh, dealing this way, dealing with me. But I want more ministers need to, need to see all this. Thing. Because what I'm preaching, need to some people, it looks uh, strange. It's not strange. I'm showing you. Genesis chapter 18, verse 1 and 2. Go and study your Bible. The God is calling in the church. Next year, Satan is going to fight more. Because God has reduced the amount of blood he needs to survive 2014. Because of that, Christians are going to, compromising Christians are going to suffer a lot. A lot. Because he's going to start from the church. Mark my words. I look, I talk with the Almighty. You see, I talk with the angels. I don't read the Bible, need to find information. I don't believe, I don't say I dream. Just sit down. The Lord tell me, William, this is what I'm going to do. 
that, look, this is what I've been doing. And you will know the power that you have. Praise the Lord. So this is what the message I have for you. After celebrating the death and of Jesus, the birth of Jesus Christ, now you have to follow. So that you will not open the door for Satan to bind you. Now, I want you to go home and begin to pray. Ask the Lord, if you have been to hospital, ask the Lord to reveal to you if your blood are kept at the altar. As long as your blood are kept at the altar, it will certain we allow you for some length of life. But if you want to rise up as a minister, it hinders you. But like me, I'm a fire. I'm a dangerous man. But you know, he knows me. I'm not boasting. And I want you to join this wagon of the army of the Almighty God. Wherever you are, if you want to know more, if you have any question, feel free and to call me. I'm ready to, show, to share with you whatever the Lord has told me. Gospel is not for sale. No, it's free. Freely you receive. Freely you will give out. If you are selling the gospel, uh, you are making a great mistake. Don't do it. There is no secret in God's kingdom. This is the message I have for you. And I wish you all Happy New Year in advance. We are going to meet again. Keep on watching uh, um, this great uh, TV station and uh, support this ministry and we pray for the, uh, uh, the directors of this uh, uh, TV mi uh, mi ministry. Support them financially and the Lord in turn will open the door of finance for you in Jesus' name. May you be richly blessed. I will see you again next time. Amen.